how it looks like the Power BI application. So whenever you launch the application, it looks like this. You can close this pop-up by clicking this cross or a mark on the top right corner. And if you have already uh, worked on any reports, it will show here um, the recent sources section. If, uh, if you want to know what is the new features added in the Power BI recently, you can click here and know what are the uh, new features added. So Power BI team will every month will add some new features to improvise the tool. You can click here and go to that particular, uh, it takes you to that particular website and you can read what are the pre, uh, new features have been added into the Power BI. So in the reporting section, they have added this month so you can see when the see power bi february 2022 feature summary so in february 2022 what are the features have been added into the power bi they will give a detailed description here so you can go through each uh, description and you can uh, try to understand and you can uh, improve your knowledge about the power bi and then Power BI blog. You can see a small description is also is available about that particular topic. Keep up to date with the latest news, resources, and updates from the Power BI team. So Power BI team, they will give uh, some uh, whatever the news and uh, resources uh, are available. They will update here in the same uh, blog. You can go through. That, uh, those news also here and forums so what is forum visit the power bi forum to ask any question to ask questions or interact with the other users in the power bi community so if you want to join in the power bi community you can join so if you have any doubt you can post here there are uh, many people are available through across the world uh, someone will respond to your query and uh, they will uh, try to solve your doubts. So this guy uh, need help on tags for month and uh, uh, for month and drop down. The one guy is posted. So if you click this one, you can see what is the uh, doubt he is asking and. Uh, what is the solution provided by the people you can see here so this is how you can uh, enhance your knowledge and i will show you one more so this guy is asking sum x versus sum gives different total why the best and best practices he is asking if you click that link you will be able to see what is the doubt he is asking and you can click on the go to solution or in the bottom itself they have given accepted solutions this accepted solution means whatever the doubt he is asking he gave the right solution he gave the right solution this guy and that's why the guy who posted the question that guy has accepted his answer so th that is the reason this accepted solution mark is there. So like this, so you can read every uh, thing, uh, every topic here and try to uh, enhance your knowledge about the Power BI forum. Suppose in future, if you have any doubt, you can click on the new message here and you can post your own question and the scenario, but uh, make sure you have to log in here. So once you log in, you, you will be able to uh, access the uh, Power BI forum and uh, you can also post the question. Many people across the world who sees first, they will respond and they will try to solve your question also. This is also one kind of uh, best feature from the Microsoft uh, they have added. And tutorials. If you want to learn any, uh, if you want to learn more about uh, Power BI, you can click here tutorials 
it will take you some video based tutorials you can get started using the power bi become data analyst develop with the power bi platform so there are several topics see here popular learning paths and modules you can see here introduction to microsoft power platform introduction to power bi you can click let's say we, i'm going to click here you can see here you can start continue so like this uh, each and every page you can go through it and you can learn Uh, this is also one best practice from the microsoft and one more main uh, thing is you can go to the youtube you can search for microsoft power bi or you can go to the youtube and search for microsoft power bi they have their own channel in the youtube and uh, you can see here microsoft power bi they have uh, around uh, 401 videos it is from official uh, microsoft power bi channel so you can see here you can see microsoft power bi update in february 2022 so in february month what are the new features have been added they have a uh, detailed video here you can go to and try to learn from these videos also Hello and welcome to the Power BI February 2022 update month and see some demos of the highlights. We have some exciting new updates for you in the reporting section. First, we're happy to announce that the new mobile formatting options are now in preview. Now you can separate the formatting for your visuals and reports between Power BI mobile and desktop with different formatting options for each one so we have seen these four sections and we will go to for power bi application so first of all how to install the power bi application so go to the start and search for store microsoft store web open it and then try uh, try searching power bi here in the top right corner you can see here my cursor is moving power bi search for it <coughs> so you can see power bi desktop and the power bi there are two apps available here so which one you you need to install so we need to install always the power bi desktop tool so click on the desktop so we need to install always the power bi desktop don't install this power bi so <clears throat> like this uh, once you click on the power bi desktop it comes like this so you can see here microsoft corporation business data and analytics so you must see this word before you installing so once you uh, come to this page you can you can install it now i have already installed it so that's why it says launch if i have not installed then it would say uh, install or get so you can click that uh, uh, button the installation process will begin automatically that's how the installation process works suppose you have installed uh, three months back and uh, today if you want to update your uh, power, bi, uh, power bi desktop application you can also update uh, here there is a uh, icon called three dots right you can click on that you can click on update so for february i haven't update uh, my power bi desktop application so i uh, let's see i uh, i will update now so click on this small uh, three dots and then update it, it uh, you can see here update process will begin now it, it hardly takes uh, three to four minutes not more than that so this is how you have to update your application 
so it is like uh, more our in our mobile device we uh, we will update our uh, apps right so similarly the power bi also we can update on every month if there is an update you will find that update uh, option here otherwise if there is no update you don't see the option to update so this is how you can update uh, your uh, power bi desktop application sorry downloaded now it is installing the update it uh, hardly takes not more than uh, 4 to 5 minutes if there is a very uh, major update it takes 3 uh, 4 to 5 minutes otherwise uh, just 2 to 3 minutes it takes it's almost done so it's completed now so once it is completed you can click here launch otherwise you can go to the start menu and search for power bi you can also launch from here so let's launch from the microsoft to store itself so application is launching now so it is asking me to sign in because uh, uh, i don't have the sign in uh, id so i will ignore this it's not a problem so you can see here formatting just got easier we have updated the format pen with a sleek new design to make customization simpler than ever if you want to know more about this uh, feature you can click on this and learning okay just click on got it right now so whatever the new features have been added if you wanted to see click on the file options and settings and then options so one more pop up comes so under this global section you can see this global section under this global section you can see preview features so whatever the new features have been added it will show here so right now there is uh, no new feature have been added but uh, they have already new format pen that they have improvised that's it so if there is any new feature added the this tick mark will not be there you can click you can uh, check that mark and you can that feature will be enabled immediately in your application so this is how you can install and update the power bi application please subscribe to my channel chetana pixel if you are not done yet request your comments on this video thank you so much see you in the next video